Well, another dry day today puts us five and a half inches below where we should be this time this year. However, we are looking at rain on the way. It will move in once we get into tomorrow night and Tuesday. Once again, we started off at 40 degrees today in Eugene, warmed up to 49 degrees. So average high temperature, though a bit of a warm low temperature there. High temperatures across the state, 48 degrees in Corvallis. You actually saw some warmer conditions than what you saw yesterday. 47 was the high today in Roseburg, Central Oregon, though warm spot in our area in the mid to upper 50s and along the coast 46 degrees in Newport North Bend making it up to 52 degrees there. You can see much of the state about the same in the 40s though there was one cold spot there Ontario for yet another day at 34 degrees. Now here's a look at our current temperatures haven't cooled off much from our high temperatures except for those of you who live out in central Oregon now falling into the 30s but for those who live along I-5 and out to the coast we're still remaining in the mid 40s right now we'll continue to fall just a few degrees as we head into tonight that fog will form once again and we're still going to keep the clouds that we've kept all day as we head into tonight and for tomorrow but there will be some changes we just have to get to tomorrow night into Tuesday now here's a look at those clouds you can see them rapidly spreading across into the central and eastern portion of the state this is all part of a system that's slowly approaching our area right now it is bringing some showers just to our north in parts of Washington you may see a stray sprinkle here in the area but we're not looking at anything too much but we will We'll see more widespread heavier showers once we get into tomorrow night and Tuesday. Now here's a look at big picture wise. You can see that jet stream now beginning to slowly move into our area. It's going to continue to drop down as we head into tonight and tomorrow. This high pressure ridge is going to continue to fall apart and we're looking at this area low pressure to kind of slowly push into our area bring us those showers. So once again this is what we can expect for tomorrow dry for at least one more day. Still foggy though in the morning and once that fog moves on out we'll still have some clouds clouds above that still so looking at some overcast skies but the showers move in early Tuesday morning and we're looking to be wet through about Thursday so breaking things down again along the coast starting off with that fog cloudy skies in the afternoon high temperatures though will still warm into the low 50s now we head into Tuesday we'll also see uh, those showers move on in high temperatures will still remain into the 50s or so but once again scattered showers on Tuesday through about Thursday then as we head into next weekend we're trending to be somewhat dry still temperatures near 50 on Club Base in upper 40s near 50 tomorrow starting off with that fog cloudy skies in the afternoon as we head into Tuesday we keep the scattered showers through about Thursday then drying out by Friday high temperatures remaining in the 40s cascades freezing level at 9,000 feet mostly cloudy skies tomorrow central Oregon you're looking at more clouds of what you saw today all increasing ahead of that next front high temperatures will be near 50 as we head into Tuesday we'll see a mix of rain and some snow showers so they'll be isolated drying things out some on Wednesday, then the return of some snow showers on Thursday. Once again, they will be isolated. For the valley, looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow, we'll have the fog to start off the day, but once that moves out, we'll still have the clouds above that. So looking at overcast skies tomorrow. As you head into Tuesday, though, we're looking at those showers to start early in the day, keeping the rain through about Thursday, and then we dry out Friday into next weekend. Once again, high temperatures throughout the week remain in the mid to upper 40s, so 